on, come on. <laughs> Might have to have a drink of water now. All this yodeling going on here. Yodeling. <laughs> Woo! Come on, girls. That's my girls. Come on. Come on, girls. There you go. Come on, girls. That's some babies. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on here. There you go. There you go. That's some good girls. I'm going to step on back further because young calves will get spooked. I think we about got it. Huh? Go for it. Go go roam through there and check. She says she wants to go back and check one more time. There ain't none left behind. Here comes the quad wife. The quad girl. Our other four-wheeler, the dark green one, it's giving a little trouble. You almost flipped. I didn't like the radio when I did that. Yeah, you're you're pushing a little too hard. You might want to slow push them that fast next time. You might run them through a fence. You were doing pretty good. Yeah, you need to be careful. Yeah. Who, 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 who? Ha! Get on up there. Woo! We got them. We had to do a little run and had to put the camera down. There's a bunch of animals spread out for two people. All right, I'm gonna come on in there, Mel. I'm gonna come on in there. Do what you gotta do. Come on now, baby. Oh. Well, here they are in the new pen. I'm gonna try to get a few move forward here. Hey, don't let those cows go up in that chute, okay? There you go. Step down there and push her and this calf forward right here. It's perfect. It's what I wanted. No, it's too small. Oh, that one did. Well, it's all right. Did that cow before she goes in that chute. Oh, that little heifer. I was going to keep her. She can go out. Go ahead and come out of there. Come out of there now. There's a few in here that's too young. Come out of there. What's that horn up there blowing? Is that Eddie Helen again? All right, you need to get away from right there. 
Now I'm not putting all of these. I don't know, I might. I tell you folks, the market is down so bad right now. The, the market is down so bad that if I keep them, well then they won't end up going to market until next next year, in the middle of the year when we return from the Philippines. And the bigger they get, the lower the price is per pound. And I have to carry it and feed them through all the whole winter. Or I just haul them on, get the miles off the grass, the ones that are still not weaned, trying to suck, get the strain off the mama or she can winter better. Man. So this last load we hauled was the worst price that I have gotten, I guess, ever, ever, ever. Some of them did pretty good. Our, our largest one that we took in that load, man, he, he brought bottom dollar, bottom dollar. And he's a good looking one too. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this load, but this is absolutely our worst year in this business. They don't mean that all this time cash out. It's just this year ain't gonna be a winner. That's all I can tell you. It's not gonna be a winner. But uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and haul some. I mean, uh, you're gonna spend money to keep on carrying them, and you gotta have more pasture. You gotta have more hay for wintering. You know, you gotta split them all up. I'd rather just pick up on next year so uh yeah it's tough i mean we're still we're still gonna come out we're not like going in a hole or nothing but we're not like really making a uh good profit not like we normally do either but i think markets will get straightened out we'll see we'll see and nevertheless they're going to the market anyway all right well we decided we're gonna take these seven right here some of them are a little younger than I want it, but the funny thing about that is, is that uh, I wish, I don't know. What about that little old heifer there? Man, she's just perfect market size though. Well, thing is, the smallest ones is bringing the most per pound right now, quite a bit to offset the weight difference. So, yeah, all cow that we need to haul, we can bring the back the one heifer and hold the mama one. We'll go over and knock her head back, get her, get up there and just kind of shoo her back. Which one, the... the one that's over to the right, yeah, her, yeah. Now you gotta step back as soon as you do it, you gotta step back. Oh, she's over there again. That's her right there. That's her. Push her back. Push her back. Man, she worked all the way up, Mal. There you go. Bring her back. That's her coming back there right now. There you go. Get in there. Get on. Get on in there. Ah. Hell, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, hell, 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 oh, 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 girl, you gotta let me get the gate all the way open, I'm gonna let a few of these large cows start coming out, and those little younger calves like that right there, start unjamming the pin a little bit, there's a bull and a heifer both right over in there. I want the bull, but I want to leave it a little heifer. Well, we've been thinning them out of here group by group. Bringing them on out. Man, that's so nice to see the fields turning beautiful green. Man. We should have had this shoot over a month ago. Boy, that's nice. Get a little fall grazing, that'll save me some hay. Keep the cows healthier. Boy, that is a blessing. 
yeah i ain't showed every group we let out we've got the trailer pretty much already loaded full we loaded one old cow the one i mentioned before she's gonna go down on me in a pile of bones and uh she's aged out so we're gonna take her on and uh sell her at the market won't get much for her these gonna bring but you you notice these other trailers ahead of us have full-grown cows they were hauling off and selling I mean somebody's selling off their herds probably because the price is low we've had a poor fall no grass some people weren't able to get their hay up by last spring because it stayed so wet a lot of people missed their cuttings and uh yeah it's it's not good right now so we've had a good relationship with these guys at sell barn for years and years so uh, the last bunch I hauled over here two weeks ago, I had one that the price was just down low on. He was a good, good looking one. There wasn't nothing wrong with him. Yeah, it's a good looking one. And you know, wasn't any different than any of the rest. In fact, I thought he actually looked a little better than some of them. And man, they hit me the bottom of the barrel price on him and I don't know why and I talked to him about it in there just then I kind of nervous to bring any let me get my seat belt on because he because that one on the ticket brought such a low price it's had me nervous to bring anymore but you have to do something you can't just keep them on your field and I talked to him about it in there just then I said man I've had a fluke first time it's ever happened here and I had one bring such a low price like that and said so the old guys that's been there for years they said man they're doing it to everybody right now it's not the auction place doing it said the buyers are just docking them for anything they can imagine if they don't fit this perfect little order of what they want right now and they're just hitting it and said it's just it's just killing everybody at the moment and uh he said i've got six there on that load that'll probably do okay but there was a seventh one there they said they may may hit him just because he's not in that little window that they're wanting right now and being they're being very 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 selective and so uh told me don't be surprised if if one of them in this bunch may do the same thing they pointed out which one said they've just got a very tight little order of what they're wanting and anything else if they're gonna buy it they're gonna buy it cheap boy that sucks 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 but it's the way it is but you can't base your life off one event off one year next year you might end up getting more than above price and it pay up for the year that was bad you know so you can't make rash decisions over what happens on one year when you're in this kind of business it it's just the way it is it's not a, a oh you've got to just sell out and run you know over a one-year thing so uh it's been 
couple crazy years, at least this past year when everything was happening around the world, the prices were still pretty good. I mean, they weren't like the greatest, but they were still pretty good. We did all right. 